Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one important example problem in computer organization and architecture. The given problem is, suppose we have two implementations of the same instruction set architecture. Computer A has a clock cycle time of 275 petaseconds and a CPI of 2.2 for some program. And computer B has a clock cycle time of 550 petaseconds and CPI of 1.5 for the same program. Okay, so that means we are taking only one program. This program is executed on two computers. These two computers use the same instruction set architecture. Okay, so to execute that program, computer A can take a clock cycle time of 275 petaseconds and clock cycle for instruction of computer A is 2.2. The same program can be executed with computer B has a clock cycle time of 550 petaseconds and a clock cycle for instruction is 1.5. Which computer is faster for the program and by how much? Among the two computers, which computer is faster? We have to find out. Okay. Here, both computers, both computers, a and B execute the same instruction. Execute the same instruction or same program. Same program where program is a collection of or set of instructions. That program can be denoted by I. Okay. Now, the CPU time the CPU time required for executing for executing program I program I by two computers two computers A and B a and B calculated as follows. Calculated as follows. Okay. First, I am taking computer A. So, CPU time. CPU time for computer A for executing the same program is equal to Instruction count, instruction count into clock cycle time, clock cycle time into CPI, clock cycles for instruction. Okay, so instruction count means only one instruction is there. Okay. Only one. Okay. Into clock cycle time for computer A is 275 petaseconds. 275 into CPI. CPI for computer A for executing program I is nothing but 2.2. 2.2. Here instruction count is nothing but I am taking only one instruction. Okay, so here the program contains only a one instruction. So instruction count is nothing but one. Okay, so therefore uh, one into two seventy five point two so two seventy five into two point two. So two seventy five into two point two. Okay, so two seventy five into two point two. Twenty two into five one ten. Okay. 
11 22 into 7 so 154 154 165 16 is there 22 into 2 44 44 16 that is a 605 605 okay next one in the same way cpu time for computer b computer b is equal to same instruction count only one instruction into clock cycle time clock cycle time is 550 seconds into cpi of computer b is 1.5 okay so that is equal to 550 into 1.5 okay so 550 half so that is 275 that is 825 okay next one therefore by comparing the cpu time of computer a and computer b which computer has the less cpu time so computer a contains a cpu time is 605 uh, computer B contains a CPU time of 825. Okay, which one is lesser? So computer A has uh, computer A has lesser CPU time. So therefore we can say that computer A is faster. Computer A is faster. Faster than B. Than computer b because because so computer a has computer a has computer a has lesser cpu time a lesser cpu time okay now how much computer A is faster than computer B? So, for that one, we have to use this formula. Performance of performance of computer A divided by performance of computer B. Performance of computer B. So, performance is always uh, indirectly proportional to CPU time. Okay. So, therefore, here CPU time of computer B, computer B divided by CPU time of, CPU time of computer E. Why we are writing inverse? So, performance of a computer is indirectly proportional to, so performance is indirectly proportional to 1 by computer time. So, if the computer time is less, performance is good. If the computer time is more, performance is less. So, there is an indirectly proportionality between performance of a computer and CPU time. Okay. So, because of that reason, we are uh, uh, writing CPU time of computer B by CPU time of computer A. Okay. So, here we can written as performance of computer A divided by performance of computer B is equal to 1 by per CPU time of computer A by CPU time of computer B. So, then we can write it as this one. CPU time of computer B by CPU time of computer A. CPU time of computer B is 825 PS petaseconds. 825 divided by 605. Okay. So here 1.363 times computer A is faster than computer B. So therefore we can write it as 1.363 times times computer A 
कंप्यूटर ये इज कंप्यूटर ये इज फास्टर देन फास्टर देन कंप्यूटर बी कंप्यूटर ई ओके सो वी कैन से दैट विच कंप्यूटर हैज द मिनिमम सीपीयू टाइम विच कंप्यूटर हैज द लीस्ट सीपीयू टाइम that computer is faster among the 605 and 825 which is lesser so that is 605 is the lesser so therefore cpu a is faster than cpu b that means computer a is faster than computer b so performance is indirectly proportional to 1 by cpu time so therefore uh, performance is indirectly proportional to cpu time you can write as p indirectly proportional to 1 by cpu time so therefore 1.363 times computer a is faster than computer b okay in this way we have to solve the uh, given problem so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates uh, please uh, like please like and click on uh, bell button for future updates in my youtube channel so thank you please subscribe my channel name divela srinivasarao this is my channel name please subscribe this channel thank you